Assalamu alaikum. I hope yesterday you must have gone through the blogging lecture I posted. So I told you all the basics about how to create a blog, how to create a blog post and how you can have more than one blogs under one name. So that all we studied, we studied what labels are inside a post, how you can edit a post and all of those things. Today we're going to touch all the different parts of the edits of blogging. So you will go through all the settings, all the options that we have here, posts, stats, comments, all of these things we're going to go through. Okay, and then we'll also start as a new post because yesterday's post I didn't like it quite a bit. But what we'll do is, uh, since I cannot make up a new blog post, in I asked you to create a blog post, but none of you did. I don't think uh, you ma I don't think any of you must have even gone through the whole lecture. So we're going to start from scratch today, but not in the detail that like I gave you yesterday. But I think we need to start from creating a post and then going through all of the settings together, so you can understand how it's done. Again, so what we'll do is. We create a new post and today we're going to po publish this post so you can see it actually so when okay so when you uh, publish it and we can view the blog and then we can see the theme you have blog ki, uske se wo post kaisa lagta hai when it uh, comes online okay so we have all these settings that i told you yesterday we'll go through these again but for now we'll uh, put the post title say for example i'll uh, search Mm, what do you call it? I'll search for a recipe, say chocolate cake. So for the most part, I'm going to copy paste the mm, recipe so it doesn't so it doesn't take much of our time. And so you know how this post works. So yeah, see how it, uh, this is also a blog that we're currently seeing, uh, the stay at home chef, okay. So you, as you can see, it has a blog title, it has pictures and it also has uh, an option here that you can, you know, that says jump to recipe so you can instantly go to the part where the recipe starts. So what she has done is, or he, uh, they've embedded a YouTube video to it, but there are also, you know, there, there's also a compact recipe here. So let me try copying it, if at all I'm successful in copying it. Yeah, okay. So there's this much we'll copy and we'll paste it here. What? Okay, what just happened? Copy, paste, yes. So, this is our recipe, okay? But a cream frosting will leak it. And then you have notes again. We'll let it stay for now. We'll let the nutrition stay for now. Maybe we'll add one uh, picture to it of how it looks. Okay, let's copy this picture. Image. I'm not sure if we can directly, you know, add the image. Yeah, we can. So we copy pasted the image here. So if you want the image to be aligned in a certain way, you can also do that. We can edit this image like I told you. You can put it as a medium or you can put it as large or maybe original size, however it was. Then you can put it in center or right. I think center would be fine, sorry. Where did it go? So you want to put it in the center. And then, uh, what do you call it? Yeah, that's it. If you want to add caption to it, say for example, you want to add uh, uh, chocolate cake. So that is your, what do you call it, caption for the image. You could remove it. In properties, you have a thing called alt text. So 
so what is alt text now you can also add title text if you want to that's not necessary but alt text is a text that google actually reads uh, sorry reads from your image so what happens is um, jab aap, jab, when google crawls your website or google checks your uh, web page or website it needs to know ki ye image jo hai, what is it related to what is this image about ye kis cheez ki image hai. so for example if you are posting an image of a sea or a beach so what you will write in the alt text is an image you will write a beach okay or you can write anything uh, that describes the image in doing that usse kya fark padta hai google jo hai unko samajh aa jata hai what is this image about ye kis cheez ki image hai it helps you so now that it has already added the alt text since we copied it the blogger might have already added the alt text to it so there's that and you can see this one has a link so that's what i was going to tell you say for example we want to remove this link okay so now what happens is uh, we'll go through these uh, very uh, uh, you know briefly ye aapka undo redo aa gaya then you have font then you have text you have format and then all of these things we read yesterday but one thing that i need to go through again is say for example you want to create a link in your blog post that redirects the people to the other blogs or aapke kisi aur blog ko ya kisi aur website ko now how is this helpful it can also help you in monetization say for example aap kisi ke sath affiliate marketing shuru karte hain ya aap unko bol denge because we'll add links to our website like i told you yesterday you can earn money via this so what you will do is you will select a particular text that you want to link then you will go to link so it all automatically uh, the text to display will be the text that you have selected ab aap isko yahan pe say for example you want to redirect it to nidcnagar.com theek hai now if you want to test this link you can text it, uh, test it ab what is no follow attribute say for example if google is going to crawl your website and you don't want Google to crawl or follow this particular link to their website. You want Google to only crawl your website or whatever links you've put. Usko follow nahi kare, usko crawl nahi kare. So you'll click on this and then you'll add okay. So now this has gone to the. You've already linked this particular text. ठीक है? If you don't, you can remove it. So there's that. The post title would be. chocolate cake recipe now if you want the if you don't want this part to be a heading ठीक है, so now that this has changed, let's change it to ठीक है, so uh, now that this has if you want to create a jump break, you can create a jump break. Say for example, you want to create a jump break here, so you've created it. ठीक है, there is that if you want to add a quote, you can add a quote. Say for example, you want to write something in a quote, you can write it. So all of these things you don't need. ठीक है, okay. Then yeah, translations I already told you. Let's start with labels. So you want to put a label. Like I told you yesterday, you can categorize a particular post. So for example, you want to label this post as a dessert. So you've labeled it. ठीक है ना यू वॉन्ट टू स्केड्यूल इट आई टोल्ड यू फॉर्म लिंक यू वॉन्ट अ पर्टिक्यूलर लिंक फॉर दिस ब्लॉग पोस्ट नॉट द होल वेबसाइट दिस पर्टिक्यूलर पोस्ट यू वॉन्ट दिस लिंक टू स्टे लाइक दिस अगर वेन एवर यू शेयर इट आफ्टर हाउ एवर मच टाइम पीपल इफ स्टिल दे वॉन्ट टू यूज द लिंक दे कैन यूज द लिंक ठीक है ना आई वॉन्ट टू क्रिएट अ ऑटोमेटिक पर्म लिंक इफ यू वॉन्ट टू एड लोकेशन यू कैन एड लोकेशन एंड दैट्स अबाउट इट आई थिंक नाउ वी कैन ईद प्रिव्यू इट दिस इज हाउ इट्स गोइन लुक whenever the blogger is ready yeah this is how your blog is going to look because you've already selected a theme theek okay? hai this is how it's going to look that's it 
if you like the way it looks you will go back here and you are supposed to now that you've already reviewed it you can publish it So now that you already have one post, you can see the blog here. If you want to see the whole blog, abhi tak jo humne view kiya or preview kiya, that was the blog post. Now you want to see how the whole blog looks. This is how your blog is going to look like. ठीक है, you only have one post yet. You can search. You have an option of searching this blog. You have archive. If you have archived, you have labels. That is desert. So if somebody wants to search your, what do you call it? Uh, blog by labels they can also do it desserts ek jagah pe then you have main course like i told you yesterday you can categorize them so there's that then you have posts say for example you go to posts then you have how many posts do you have usme se published kitne hain or drafts kitne hain you can see that if you want to revert it to draft you can revert it then you have start since we won't have uh, anything to be displayed yet because nobody has seen our blog yet otherwise this is basically your insights either how many page views have you had today yesterday last month and all of these things posts pe aapka traffic kitna aaya hai audience kahan kahan se aayi hai all of these things where is your traffic source from what is your audience all of these things you can you know page views by countries kis kis country se aayi hai kaun se browsers use karke aaye hain what operating systems are they using all of these things that you can get but right now since we don't have enough data we can't see but once you start building up your blog and you start having traffic to wo easy ho jayega aapke liye then you have comments yahan kya hota hai abhi to khair kisi ne aapke blog pe comment nahi kiya as soon as people start commenting you can filter it here if you want to remove content say for example you want to remove certain types of comments or you want to block certain types of comments especially jo harsh words ya kuch aisa um, uh, words use karte hain log comments mein if you want to block them they won't be displayed anymore theek hai then you have uh, earnings now this is where it gets a little you know um this is why people actually create blogs to be able to uh, apply for adsense and you know be able to go for monetization and earn money give me a minute i'll plug it into the charger so uh, we want to be able to apply for adsense be eligible for it and then whenever as soon as we start having traffic on our websites we want to be able to earn from our blogs so how are we going to do that once you go into earnings you see it will be displayed it will be like this and you want to be able to see if you are qualified how can you uh, right now it shows that your blog does not currently qualify for adsense okay so how are you going to qualify for adsense this is how so what it says is owning the site you want to use to participate it okay so first up what you have to do is you have to purchase the domain name like i told you yesterday you can either purchase it from godaddy.com any third party domain name providing service or you can purchase it from google itself once you purchase it from google usme ek cheez ho jati hai ki aapki tension khatam ho jati hai say for example you have to renew it aap usko auto renew kar dete hain and after every year annually or however the time is set वो खुद से आपका डोमेन नेम रीपर्चेज कर देता है तो आपको वो परेशानी नहीं रहती कि आई हैव टू यू नो बिफोर अ ईयर आई हैव टू रिन्यू इट अगेन सो दैट कोई और ना ले जाए आपका डोमेन नेम फर्स्ट आप दैट इज दिस उसके बाद यू हैव टू हैव योर ओन यूनिक एंड इंटरेस्टिंग कंटेंट नाउ बिकॉज गूगल क्रॉल्स ईच एंड एवरी वेबसाइट राइट नाउ मैंने आपको दिखाया कि आपने कॉपी पेस्ट कर दिया बट दिस इज नॉट गोइंग टू वर्क फॉर यू बिकॉज गूगल क्रॉल्स एवरी वेबसाइट एंड इफ इट सीज कि आपने इमेजेस भी कॉपी किए हैं और आपने टेक्स्ट भी किसी और का कॉपी किया है एक तो आपकी वेबसाइट दिखनी बंद हो जाएगी यू वॉन्ट हैव ऑर्गेनिक ट्रैफिक एज मच और दूसरा आप दूसरा क्या होगा कि आप यू वोट क्वालिफाई फॉर यू नो मोनिटाइजेशन और एडसेंस तो उसके बाद क्या होता है फिर योर कंटेंट हैज टू कम्प्लाई विद एडसेंस प्रोग्राम पॉलिसीज वी नो गूगल हैज पॉलिसीज एवरीवेयर ऑल दो ऑल द प्लेटफॉर्म्स हैव देयर ओन प्राइवेसी पॉलिसीज एंड यू नो कंटेंट पॉलिसीज चाहे यूट्यूब है चाहे इंस्टाग्राम है चाहे फेसबुक है वेन एवर यू पब्लिश कंटेंट उनका एक अपना पॉलिसी होता है कि कौन सा कंटेंट कम्प्लाइज बाय दर स्टैंडर्ड पॉलिसीज सो मोस्टली यहाँ इफ यू हैव आर रेटेड कंटेंट वो नहीं चलेगा इफ यू हैव कंटेंट दैट इज अगेंस्ट एनी रेस और यू नो अगेंस्ट एथिकल 
इट्स नॉन एथिकल और इट्स इट हेट क्राइम्स वगैरह जिससे होती है हेट स्पीच है वो नहीं हो सकता है इफ यू आर ट्राइंग टू शो ऑफ एज समी एल्स इफ यू आर कॉपिंग समन एल्स वो भी नहीं कंप्लाई होगा ऑल ऑफ दीज थिंग्स एंड यू हैव टू बी एटलीस्ट एटीन ईयर्स ओल्ड आफ्टर यू कंप्लाई बाय ऑल दीज फाइव थिंग्स गूगल इज गोइंग टू tell you itself ki you are eligible for adsense and you should apply or even before that if you want to apply you can sign up for adsense ab yaha abhi aapke sign up karne se kuch hoga nahi because you have all these things that are incomplete first up you have to go through all of those things still phir aapko uske baad kya karna hai you have to since you have to purchase a domain name you will then have the url of your site once you have it you can put it there your email address and that's it then you have to save and continue lekin because we don't have any of these things right now so we'll not go there now that we've seen what our eligibility requirements are we'll go back to our uh, blog and then you have pages now what are pages we learned what are blog posts but we didn't know what are pages so pages are basically static blog uh, pages to ab isme aap zyada changes nahi kar sakte hain zyada features nahi add kar sakte this is not a post that is editable but this is a static page that you can create ab mostly bloggers use uh, blog pages as categories से यू वॉन्ट टू पुट इन कैटेगरीज की मेरे इस कैटेगरी में इतने ब्लॉग पोस्ट हैं फिर आप उसको लिंक करना चाहते हैं ताकि अगर कोई देखना चाहे तो वो डायरेक्टली वहां जा सकता है और इधर यू कैन हैव पेजेस दैट कैटेगराइज योर ब्लॉग पोस्ट और यू कैन हैव पेजेस दैट विल यू नो फिल्टर ऑल योर ब्लॉग पोस्ट जैसे आप गूगल एड से रिलेटेड आपने बहुत पोस्ट किए आप इसको लेबल भी कर सकते हैं दैट इज वन ऑप्शन बट पेजेस आर अ मोर सोफिस्टिकेटेड वे ऑफ पुटिंग इट एंड यू कैन पुट अ लिटिल डिस्क्रिप्शन टू इट ऑल्सो सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू वॉन्ट टू क्रिएट अ पेज सो यू विल गो फॉर न्यू पेज सो वेर इन यू विल एड इट इज ऑलमोस्ट लाइक अ ब्लॉग पोस्ट यू हैव ऑल द सेटिंग्स हेयर वॉट यूल डू इज यू विल पुट uh say for example you will put it as uh, let's uh, stay true to what our blog uh, post is about let's say home cooked theek hai then you have all the recipes called or maybe let's be a little technical for it because i'll be able to make you understand uh, more easily so for example aapki ek page aap ek page jo hai wo create kar rahe hain for google ads theek hai isme you will uh, type in Google Ads tutorial. You will have Google, and then you will, uh, you know, have a description about the Google Ads tutorial. Then you will have the other option. You will have is Google Ads negative keywords. Then you will type about it. What are the key points about this blog post? आपने इसमें क्या क्या लिखा है? Then you will have, for example, Google Ads. keyword types so for example now that you have all these things you can you have an option of firstly making these uh, titles uh, what do you call it bold theek hai first up and then you can also change these into different headings if you want this to be the heading if you want this to be a subheading or you know minor or normal ठीक है, we'll put it to normal right now. So we can also change the headings of these. Then you can also do one thing. Once you've already put it like this, and you have different topics listed also. So for example, आपका Google Ads tutorial जो है, वो एक blog post है. ठीक है, so you'll select it and you'll add link to it, and then you'll add the URL जिसका जो आपके blog post का है. Say for example, www. dot uh, blogspot since we haven't purchased our uh, use sorry um, domain name yet dot com slash say for example google google ads tutorial ठीक है so say for example this is one blog post. it has to exist for you to write it here so you can type in okay so this is where it'll go so as long as phir uh, jab aap pages mein apni categories denge ki ye 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 karke hai uh, sorry for example ye ye blog posts aapne ek particular category ke under uh, post kiye hai ya publish kiye hai people can directly go from this ya phir aap ek aur kaam kar sakte hain say for example you want to create if i close this and i want to create a new page uh you can also use pages as you know 
contact us. Now you can write in send us an email an email at whatever at gmail.com say for example if we are talking about our blog help uh, help at or sales at if you have your own email id ठीक है दिस और इफ यू आर यूजिंग सीधा जी मेल का भी यू कैन डू दैट ऑल्सो ठीक है दिस काइंड ऑफ ईमेल वन यू परचेज योर ओन डोमेन नेम एंड यू हैव योर ओन ईमेल लिस्टेड ये आपको हेल्प करता है टू साउंड मोर प्रोफेशनल टू हैव अ मोर प्रोफेशनल आउटलुक ठीक है देन यू कैन हैव दिस एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो टेल देम हाउ डू गेट इन टच विद यू You can also tell them uh, to get in touch with us, SMS at us at this this and this dot com. So that is also what you can do. Okay, so if you want, you can delete these pages or you can put them in draft or whatever, however you seem fit. ठीक है? So you have, I shouldn't have deleted them. Okay, so you have, uh, you saw how we can create pages. Then you have layouts. Okay, so before going to layout, let's go to theme. So if you want to change your theme, this is how your theme is, and this is the preview of your blog. This is how it's going to look. Uh, once you start going down, you'll see there are so many other themes that they provide you with. You can change them. You can use whichever theme you want to. See when it comes to food, these are some of the you know. If you want a preview of how your blog is going to look in a dynamic theme, see this is how it's going to look. I kind of don't like it much, so let's say yeah. So let's say I want to download another theme. I am not uh, satisfied with the blog with the themes that the blogger is providing me, and I can have I can download free themes also. So if I want to upload themes this is where i have to go i have to go to backup restore i have to upload a theme theme from my hard drive now how will you do it there is a website for it called btemplates.com so once you go to btemplates.com it provides you all the blogger uh, templates Once you get rid of these ads, that is, yeah. So now that you can see, you have free blogger templates. So they have like close to five thousand blogger templates. So you can check which one you want from here. You can also have a demo provided to you. Say for example, I'll go for baking blog since it's more related to the food theme that we're having. So you can have a demo. So this is how your blog is going to look, all pinky pinky and girly. So this is how it's going to look. If you are interested in it, what you, you can also view is view it how it's going to look on the mobile phone. I don't know why it does not have a. Okay, so it's non-responsive. So we don't want a theme like that. Let's go back to. What do you call it? Let's go back to the themes and see if, say, for example, we like. Say, you want to go for this. It has to be responsive for you to apply it because you want people to be able to see it very easily and correctly. Yeah, this one is responsive. ठीक है. So this could be good. Uh, if you want, you can download the template. Now this is not free, or maybe you can only look for free templates if you want to.
now that I've selected this theme called Nordic and if I want I can put it on download okay I'll put it under my folder and then what I'll do it do is I'll show it in the folder and I will extract it okay so I'll extract them to uh, where am I yeah to my folder okay now that I've already extracted them where did it go yeah here so this XML document is what you're looking for now that you've downloaded the zip file and you've extracted it to your specified folder whichever is uh, fine with you wherever you want it this XML document is what you're going to upload so for example we'll go back to we'll go back to our where were we yes this one so we'll go for backup restore because we want to upload our file so we'll choose the file and we'll go to my folder where i've extracted it exactly here and this is the file that we're going to upload okay so now that we've selected it we'll upload it and now that it says that it has uploaded successfully this is how our theme is going to look like okay if you want to customize it we can customize it this is how it's going to look if you want to add just the themes you want to change you can change here also this is the blogger theme designer you want to add just with layout advanced all of these things you can play here okay this is how it's going to look all right now if you want to go back to blogger you can go back to blogger after making these changes if you want them to you can change the background uh, image color all of these things you can play around with it so after uh, getting out from themes let's go to settings now we'll pick the layout at last because it's the most complicated one and i want you to be active and very vigilant while we're doing layouts so settings me you have basic settings you have the title if you want to edit it change it you can you want to add description you can which you should then you have privacy you want it to be visible to search engines basically do not touch with all of these settings a lot because it's going to cost you if you do uh jo aapki default setting hai blog ki that is provided for you by blogger itself and those are you know most of the times they are the ones that you should put unless you're very advanced and skilled in it and you know what you're doing this is your blog address if you want to set a third party this is where you add the domain name if you've purchased it from say uh, godaddy.com this is where you set it up okay so you enter the blog domain it will check if it is under your name and it is under you know you've purchased it or not and then that's how it's going to apply then you want to be able to https uh, redirected because you want to have an encrypted connection you must know that by now or if you want to add blog authors you can add i told you yesterday agar aap affiliate hona chahte hain ya aap apne blog ko you know you want it to qualify and have that standard amongst people you can add authors from other blogs jo bade bade authors hai ya koi say for example your blog is related to recipes and food what you can do is you can add uh, a chef a very renowned chef jo kashmir ka hai ya kahin aur ka wherever you are living and you can ask them to you know publish on your um, blog then you have to you can also edit the privacy option of your if your blog readers can be public or you want to edit them and you set it to a uh, you know private blog and that makes no sense at all why would you you know not keep your blog public do you want everybody to see what is on your blog then you have posts so at most aap kitne posts ek pe, main page pe dekhna chahte hain wo 13 hai 12 hai 10 hai jitne bhi post template aap add karna chahte hain you want to add showcase images with lightbox i told you what lightbox is right hota kya hai jab aap 
कोई भी पेज ओपन करते हैं तो एक ऐसा विंडो खुलता है या एक ऐसा पेज शोकेस हो जाता है विच डिम्स दी अदर पार्ट ऑफ द पेज एंड ओनली यू कैन सी एट द विंडो दैट इज ओपन So all of those things you must know by now. You just have to, you know, play with all of this. Uh, comment me. You can see who can comment you. Anyone who includes anonymous users, कहीं से भी कोई भी user जो आता है वो comment कर सकता है. जिनके पास सिर्फ Google account है या फिर जो भी इस member इस blog के members है, which means whoever has subscribed to your blog. ठीक है? If you want comment moderation, like I told you, अगर आप चाहते हैं कि कोई comment रहे और कौन नहीं रहे, filter हो जाए वो सब, then you have email, which includes would you like to post using email also? जो आपके subscribers हैं, उनको आप personally जो आपका blog है वो email के through भी send कर सकते हैं, और उसमें आप comment notification email क्या देना चाहते हैं? उसके बाद अगर आप अलग से email posts जिनको भेजना चाहते हैं उनके ईमेल्स आप इधर ऐड कर सकते हैं ठीक है देन यू हैव लैंग्वेज एंड फॉर्मेटिंग किस लैंग्वेज में आप यू नो योर पोस्टिंग इन और आप ट्रांसलिटरेशन प्रोवाइड करना चाहते हैं या नहीं जैसे आपने देखा होगा गूगल में भी होता है फेसबुक तक में भी होता है एंड इंस्टाग्राम में जो डिस्क्रिप्शन आप लिखते हैं इट प्रोवाइड्स यू ट्रांसलेशन तो देर इज दैट देन यू हैव फॉर्मेटिंग में टाइम जोन I think we'll need another class with the layout section because um, uh, this will go forward, but I'll try to complete it if I can. I don't want to rush through all of this, so I want you to be able to, you know, uh, at your own pace, you can go through this. Then you have, um, say for example, you have timestamp format, you want to be able to put down the time, ki aapne kab ye blog post, kitne baje post kiya hai, all of this, that and comment kabhi kisne kitne baje comment kiya hai, theek hai? Then you have search preferences. So you know what meta tags are, what keywords, keywords वगैरह आप इसमें दे सकते हैं meta data. So meta data is basically information about your blog. Basically आप इसमें description add कर सकते हैं. What is your what do you call it blog about? So whenever Google crawls your website, they know what your blog is about. So if anyone you know, you can add as many you can add five to six or maybe even 10 keywords to it if you want to in the description itself so that if somebody uh, or your user or anybody is searching on Google about the specific keywords that you're adding, uh, your blog post will be displayed to them. So this part is very critical. You need to add, you know, your description to uh, the meta description. Then you have errors and redirections. Say for example, if someone has a custom page not found, what should they show you on your website? Pe? ठीक है, you can write I'm sorry for the error or something. We're building a website. We'll get back to you or whatever it is that you want to. Or you have custom redirect. Say for example, अगर किसी को नहीं दिखता है आपका, ठीक है? Say for example, आपने कोई और blog post चढ़ाया था, now you've deleted it. So the link is already there. Like I told you, एक permalink create हो जाती है आपके post की. But for some reasons, you've deleted that blog post. So it doesn't exist. तो आप क्या कर सकते हैं? Say for example, www जैसे हमने Google Ads का बनाया था. dot blog spot dot com slash Google Ads ठीक है, this was your you know URL of a post that you had created और अब अगर वो post जो particular post आपने delete कर दिया, you want from this blog post जो है Google Ads का, people should be redirected to here. ठीक है, if you want this to be permanent, you can click. If you don't want it to be permanent, you can do it. You can save changes later. Then you have crawlers and indexing. You all know we all know what Google Search Console is. आपने webmasters अच्छे से पढ़ा है, so you must know. So this is about webmasters basically. अगर आप चाहते हैं कि आपका जो search console है, वो webmasters पे आ जाए, you want to link this blog to your webmasters, so you can know every time you post something, it'll come here. ठीक है? So if you want to add it, you can add. ठीक है, you have to finish verification, all of these things. Then what is custom robots headed? So what you want is जो भी आपका जैसे crawler वगैरह है, these are what they're concerned with. So if you want them to read your header tags and everything, you can put that. अब होता क्या देखें, जब आप इसको yes पे edit कर देते हैं, you have all these tags. So now for you to understand what all these means, या तो आप all कर दें 
उसका मतलब ये है कि जो भी क्रॉलर आपके वेब पेज पे आएगा वो आपके सारे यू आर अलाउिंग दैट पर्टिकुलर बॉट और क्रॉलर जो भी आपके वेब पेज पे आता है टू रीड एंड गो थ्रू ऑल ऑफ योर वेब पेजेस एंड ऑल ऑफ योर डेटा इफ यू आर कूल विद इट यू विल पुट इट टू ऑल इफ यू आर नॉट ना यू डोंट वॉन्ट सम पर्टिक्यूलर टैग टू बी यू नो क्रॉल्ड फॉर एग्जाम्पल आपका नो इंडेक्स आता है विच मीन्स दैट The crawler can crawl it. They can crawl your website, but they cannot index it. ठीक है, they cannot put it on Google. I told you what crawling and indexing is. अगर आप you know the crawler what it does it first it crawls your website and then it indexes it. It it creates a standard procedure होता है जिसके through it tells you कि आपका जो web page है, आपका जो website है, where does it lie in all the websites? आपकी indexing होती है, आपको एक rating मिलती है या आपको एक you know Uh, on a scale of 1 to 10 where do you stand so you want them to crawl but you don't want them to index it then you have no dp like you have it n o o d p what it does is a dictionary create ho jati hai or a directory type of uh, you can say uh, internet pe uh, sometimes what happens is even in google once your web page is live or your blog post is live kabhi kabhi kya hota hai it saves your web pages to the directory ठीक है नाउ व्हाट हैपेंस इज वंस यू क्लिक ऑन इट यू डोंट वांट एनी कस्टमर अगर आपका से फॉर एग्जांपल आपकी जो साइट uh, है वो डाउन है तो वो खुल नहीं रही है ठीक है क्या फिर कोई एरर आ गया साइट में वो खुल नहीं रही है तो व्हाट गूगल डज इट वंस यू डू नॉट चेक इट विच मीन्स कि ऑटोमेटिकली गूगल क्या करता है इफ इट इज सेव ऑन अ डायरेक्टरी और इफ इट इज अपलोडेड ऑन अ डायरेक्टरी इल ऑटोमेटिकली ओपन दैट वेब पेज फॉर योर कस्टमर आपने कभी कभी देखा होगा आप कोई वेब पेज खोल दें फिर आप एग्जिट कर देते हैं या फिर आप ब्राउजर क्लोज कर देते हैं और आप इंटरनेट ऑफ कर देते हैं वंस यू गो टू द ब्राउजर अगेन इवन इफ योर इंटरनेट इज ऑन आपका वो वेब पेज खुल जाता है हाउ विदाउट एनी इंटरनेट हाउ डज दैट हैपन बिकॉज इट सेव और अपलोडेड ऑन अ डायरेक्टरी ना इफ यू वांट इफ यू डोंट वांट दैट टू हैपन कि अगर आपकी साइट डाउन है आपका वेब पेज किसी भी हालत में नहीं खुलना चाहिए यू विल सिलेक्ट दिस ऑल्सो ठीक है देन यू इफ यू से नन देन इट कम्बाइंस योर यू नो नो इंडेक्स नो फॉलो ऑल्सो देन यू हैव नो ऑथराइज ऑल्सो सो वट हैपन्स इज क्या बोलते हैं आप जब किसी को बोलते हैं ना वेर डिड इट गो सो वट हैपन्स इज कि आप अगर कोई और साइट आपके पेज पे है फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू वॉन्ट टू बी एबल टू यू डोंट यू वॉन्ट टू पुट अ नो फॉलो टैग वट डज दैट मीन इट मीन्स यू आर नॉट ऑथराइजिंग द पर्टिकुलर क्रॉलर और द बॉड टू फॉलो एनी लिंक आउट ऑफ योर वेब पेज से फॉर एग्जाम्पल आपने अपने वेब पेज पे लिंक्स एड कर दी बैक लिंक्स है या आपने यू नो यू एडेड लिंक्स फ्रॉम अदर साइट और लिंक्स टू योर अदर ब्लॉग्स ऑल्सो टू योर ब्लॉग पोस्ट सो यू डोंट वॉन्ट दैट क्रॉलर और द रोबोज or the you know bots whoever lands on your website and crawls it you don't want them to follow those websites or those links to their websites theek hai if it makes any sense so no links should be followed us case mein so all of these are for that only i don't think you need to do anything all you need to do is maybe all yeah that's it if you don't want to do any uh, of these things you should just cancel it it's not important now this monetization now what does that mean so basically monetization mein kya hota hai if you want to add custom dot txt file aapko create karni hoti hai this is a little complicated for someone who's just a beginner as long as aapka you're not qualified and you're not approved or eligible for uh, adsense this does not make any sense to you but just for the sake of understanding maybe i can tell you hota kya hai कि जब आप एलिजिबल हो जाते हैं तो आप नहीं चाहते हैं कि कोई भी जो आप एक डॉट टी फाइल क्रिएट करते हैं जिसके वजह से आपके जो क्रॉलर्स हैं वो किसी आप से फॉर एग्जांपल गूगल पुट्स एड्स ऑन योर वेबसाइट राइट सो यू वांट टू बी एबल टू सी विच एड्स और आर और आप नहीं चाहते हैं कोई और वेबसाइट आपके वेबसाइट पर एड्स पुट करे तो इन ऑर्डर टू डू दैट यू पुट आउट अ डॉट टी एक्स टी फाइल आई नो यू वोट बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड इट कम्प्लीटली येट मे बी वील गो बैक टू इट बट फॉर नाउ दिस मच इज इनफ यू एंड देन यू हैव अदर्स मे 
you have if you want to you know import content from somewhere some other you know pages and you want to backup content you can do it agar aap apne blog ka sara content backup karna chahte hain you want it to be save somewhere save somewhere you can do it you want to manage your videos from blog i would always prefer you to upload your videos to youtube first because both of these platforms are by google blogger is by google and youtube is also by google so that would be you know more uh, that would make more sense than if you want to delete your blog you can do it then you have the side feed all of these things i don't think you need adult content display karna hai ya nahi nahi if you want to add uh, web and google analytics to it you can add it you can add the tag to your website so you can you know check all the insights agar it has its own insights also but you can add it so there is that since you have nothing right now so it won't display anything you haven't even had one view yet so in order to uh, put google analytics you need to have all the views and everything you need to have traffic so since that is that we went through all of these then you have layout so layout is going to take another lecture i believe we'll go through this but for now i'll just give you a few tips you have to write at least 10 to 20 blogs per day if you want to not no not per day so before you know going for adsense you need to have at least 10 to 20 blogs under your belt at least and you have to have ad uh, what do you um, once you qualify for adsense please make sure ke aap apne hi ads pe click nahi karte many bloggers what they tried to do initially was since they thought ki uh, you know um, since we want to be able to earn money and google is putting ads on our website let's start clicking on the ads bina kisi baat ke so that we'll get more traffic and we, uh, once their ads are clicked more hame bhi shayad zyada paisa milega but that does not happen because google has a very very strong filter and they have been in this business for 10 15 years you cannot fool them maybe for a some for some time but not for long and you do not want to uh, sabotage or you do not want to risk your blog in doing that okay so that's that and you need to get at least 1000 views per day when you start from 100 views 200 views it's a good thing you can start earning money once you're eligible and even then if you have 200 300 400 views that's okay but in order to actually make a monthly income and you know actually survive off of blogging and have money in your hand you need to at least be able to have 1000 views per day i think that's it for today create a blog for yourself and we'll go through layout tomorrow inshallah Allah Hafiz